Oh, hi there. You might be wondering, Kasai, where did your resource pack go? And what happened to your shaders? Well, I'm currently actually in the latest Minecraft snapshot, 25W34B. And I know I've stopped covering Minecraft snapshots here on the channel a long, long time ago, but in this snapshot specifically, a very cool feature was added to Minecraft servers. And I do actually want to have a look at it. It is called the code of conduct and it is a new way to add rules to your minecraft server so if you boot a minecraft server in the latest snapshot you will see that a new line has been added to the server.properties file it says enable code of conduct and by default this is on false simply change it to true if you want to enable it and then save the file and after that you might notice that your server will stop booting properly this is because it is missing a folder named code of conduct for some reason the server won't generate this folder itself so you simply have to create a new folder in the root of your minecraft server directory called code of conduct maybe this is fixed by the time 1.21.9 actually releases but if not simply create an empty folder this will make it so that your server boots again but there is no code of conduct until you actually create one so to add a code of conduct you simply want to create a new txt file inside of the code of conduct folder and the naming format of the txt file is really simple simply use the language code and then dot txt i know pretty straightforward this way you can create multiple codes of conduct so everyone will see the rules in their native language if you want to know what all of the language codes are i will leave a link in the description down below to this wiki page which will house all of the different language codes available in the game there are a lot of them <laughs> i've simply created one for english and inside of this file you can type whatever you want for example subscribe to Casasara, which you should definitely do 81 percent of my daily viewers is actually not subscribed so big chance you watching this are not either so if you could just double check i would appreciate it so much but yeah we can go ahead and type a whole story here subscribe to Casasara on youtube so that he can one day reach 200,000 subscribers on his channel and then we do a little happy face <laughs> this will be my code of conduct. I know, it's good. <laughs> so simply go ahead and save your file, reboot the server, and after that, when we go ahead and join, before we even enter the server, it will show you the server code of conduct. So the beautiful message I just wrote, it shows up here. Again, you can put any information here. So it could be rules for your server, but also let's say you have a Minecraft server, which may not be suitable for all audiences you could for example put a little warning here but i'm sure the community will come up with a good or funny way to use this now you can click on this check mark if you don't want to get notified again for this code of conduct you can also choose to disconnect if you do not acknowledge it or we do acknowledge the code and then we actually join the server just like that. Now, in my opinion, that's a pretty cool feature. Whether it be for an actual code of conduct, a warning message for new players, or maybe a small tutorial of new players usually don't really know how to get started on your server. All of that stuff you could show there. You could make it say, hey, as soon as you join, make sure to walk straight and go to the right, and there you will actually find the content you're looking for. I don't know, whatever. And along with server links, which Mojang added a while back, it is really cool to see that they are adding more and more features to Minecraft servers. Thank you so much to everyone who decided to become a member, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, see you later, bye-bye!